Okay, this is for problem number two on the intermolecular forces worksheet. And so what you have to do is you have to figure out what type of intermolecular forces are in something. So the first thing that you got to do to figure that out always is to draw the Lewis structure. And so PBr3, uh, P has five valence electrons and Br has seven. And so you'll connect everything with a, a single bond and put the lone pairs on and make sure everything has eight and if you count them up this has 21 plus 5 so it should have 26 electrons so you got 18 20 22 24 26 okay so when you have one thing surrounded by three with a lone pair that's uh, trigonal trigonal pyramidal so or just pyramidal and pyramidals are always polar and because pyramidals are always polar we know that it has well everything has London dispersion forces or LDFs I forgot the F okay we also know since it's polar it has dipole dipole okay so what I'm kinda of referring to if you go to this video or this slide right here and look at this so is the molecule polar yes okay so uh, if it's polar, then you just got to determine if it can hydrogen bond or not. Okay, and so to let's go back and let's see, can it hydrogen bond? Does it have a hydrogen bonded to an F or N? And the answer is no, so there's no hydrogen bonding. So what that leaves it with is it can't hydrogen bond, so it just has London dispersion forces and dipole, dipole. All right, so anyway, it has London dispersion forces and dipole, dipole. Okay, let's go to HF. Okay, HF, if you draw the Lewis structure for that, you would get HF, and it would look like this right here. Okay, and so the first thing that, that we know, like what type of forces? Well, everything has a London dispersion forces, we know that. HF would be a polar molecule because the atoms aren't the same, and so it's going to be polar, it's linear with different atoms. And so because we know that it's polar, it also has dipole, dipole, but can HF hydrogen bond? Okay, and so we could we can look at this here. So does the molecule have lone pairs on the central atom with hydrogen bond to F or N? And if the answer is yes, okay, so if the answer is yes, then it can have hydrogen bonding. So HF definitely can hydrogen bond, okay? Okay, NH2Cl, so we could draw the Lewis structure for that, and so you'd get NHHCl, and then there would be a lone pair up here. Okay, that, oh, I forgot the lone pairs on the chlorine. All right, and so that's going to be trigonal pyramidal, or pyramidal. Okay, and trigonal pyramidals are polar. Okay, so what type of forces? Well, everything has London dispersion forces. Because it's polar, it also has dipole, dipole. Now, could it hydrogen bond with itself? So to answer that question, does this molecule have a hydrogen that's bonded to a nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine that has a lone pair on it? And the answer is yes. So it can also hydrogen bond. So it has those three forces. All right. I'm not sure why I'm going in the order that I'm going in, but let's just go across the top. Okay, H2CO3 is a difficult Lewis structure to draw, so, but it, it would look something like this. So you would have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, and then, then you would have an oxygen, probably going to run out of room here, another oxygen, and then the hydrogens go on these oxygens. Now that's, that's kind of a hard one to draw. So if you couldn't draw it, you could always Google it. But anyway, here's the thing about this one. Oh, I forgot the lone pairs there. Okay, so now uh, the question is, is this thing polar? And the answer is yes. If you cut it in half, it's not going to be exactly the same. And the shape of it is around the carbon anyway. It's trigonal planar, okay? 
so trigonal planar around the carbon anyway because there's three domains uh, there's also hydrogens on there but anyway uh, it ends up being a polar molecule because if you cut it in half it's not the same on both sides all right now the thing is so we know that everything has London dispersion forces so that's one force okay the other type is if it's polar it has dipole dipole now can this thing hydrogen bond so is there a hydrogen bonded to an oxygen fluorine or nitrogen that has a lone pair and the answer is yes so this one can also hydrogen bond okay I2 if you drew I2 you would end up getting something like this and it's linear but the atoms are the same so it is nonpolar nonpolar atoms only have London dispersion forces that's it okay you can look at the flow chart here that we made if it's not polar it only has London dispersion forces okay ICL so with ICL you could you could draw that so you would end up getting this thing right here and because they have a difference in electronegativity chlorine is a little more electronegative it would be a polar molecule okay now everything has London dispersion forces uh, because it's polar it has dipole dipole can it hydrogen bond well of course not there's no hydrogen in it so that's it okay CH4 if you draw CH4 you would get this thing right here and if you if you look at CH4 it's tetrahedral but all four things are the same so it's nonpolar and if it's nonpolar it only has London dispersion forces CF4 so you could draw that and if you draw CF4 you would see that it's tetrahedral it's nonpolar so it has London dispersion forces I left off the lone pairs because I'm trying to hurry up a little bit okay this one draw this one CH2 F2 okay if you draw this one you would see that it is polar because tetrahedrals when they're all four not the same it becomes polar and so it's polar so we know everything has London dispersion forces because it's polar it also has dipole dipole can it hydrogen bond is there a hydrogen bonded to an oxygen fluorine or not nitrogen and the answer is no so it only has these two okay that's it with this video